we're going to go to our Shopify products and we're just going to build out a new product. So we got lots of little buttons all over the place. We're just going to hit our little green add a product button and we're going to add our fun bunnies. Boys. So you put in your title. Title should be unique to every product. We put in our description. Uh, fun. Flush. Uh, friendly. Squeaky bunnies. And they are pink. And then we're going to go grab our picture, which is in my downloads folder from yesterday. There's our bunnies. When you upload your picture, Shopify will take up to about an eight meg picture. You don't need anything anywhere near that big. If you keep them under two meg, then your pictures will load fast on all devices. Uh, if you have multiple pictures, we'll just add some more bunnies. So if you have multiple pictures, you can drag and drop between what's first and what's second. This will take as many pictures as you want to add. Uh, I believe the max it caps out is around 15 pictures. If you have that many bunny pictures, feel free to add them. Uh, pricing, we put in our bunny price. Our bunny price is $15.95. Uh, cost per item, if you want to track cost, let's say these bunnies cost us $8.95. Then in the back end, we can do a lot of math. We can track our profit margin. We can track our profit. Uh, is this a taxable product? Yes, it's, in this case, it's merchandise. It's not food, taxable. Uh, inventory, what's your SKU number? So our SKU number is bun123. Uh, in this case, we don't have a barcode. We are going to track inventory. We only have 43 of them. When they're gone, they're gone. Uh, it is a physical product. Our bunny weight is yeah, like less than half a pound. We don't have to deal with any customs issues. If our product has variations, in this case, our product, maybe it comes in different colors. So it can be in pink. And let's say it also comes in blue. Shopify will then build us a table for pink and blue, and then we can change pricing, we can change quantity. So out of our 43 bunnies, 20 are pink and maybe 23 are blue. Uh, it will make a unique SKU number for your second product. It's just gonna up one digit, so 124. So you know when the order comes through, the bunnies are blue and not pink. So your fun bunny stuff toys, Easter, toys for dogs. Or is fab dog. And we have our description, pink or blue, because now they come in two colors. Our URL is fine, and we're gonna go back to our second column now. And actually, we're gonna fix this. Now they come in pink or blue. So second column, our product's gonna be an active product. Uh, it's gonna be available on store. It's gonna be available in all of our third-party placements because the store is already synced with third parties. Product type, this is a toy. Our vendor, this is a fab dog product. Collections, and we'll look at building collections, but we're gonna put this on our homepage collection. So you have categories and collections. Collections are specific to whatever page you've put them on, where a category goes into a category page. So if you're on the toy page, you get all toys, where a collection may not be honest, but on a drop down menu, a collection is gonna be wherever you tell it to go, or in this case, this is a homepage carousel collection. Uh, tags, if you want to use tags, it just gives you additional ways for people to find things. So this is holiday, uh, it's a fuzzy bunny, and it doesn't qualify for anything else. And we're going to save our product. Okay, so Shopify, we have products and we have collections. Collections can be categories, they can be specific things. So in this case, we have a homepage carousel. Uh, this homepage carousel has four holiday products, and you can see them right here, our four holiday products for Easter, which have to come down today. So we need a new collection, so maybe we'll make a spring collection if we don't already have one, and we'll put some different products in it. You can do a manual collection or an automated collection. An automated collection is going to be based on a specific condition. So in this case, if our product tag is equal to collars, the product's going to go into the collection. In this case, we want to do a manual collection. We want to pick just our spring items and we're going to save it. And then it should let us add our products. So uh, spring, we want things that are pink. So we have not a winter coat. Uh, we have a raincoat. We have pink pajamas, pink, 
pink, pink. Okay, so now we have our things we want to have in this collection for spring as opposed to just a random, actually, you don't want toys, no toys. Okay, so we have our pink sweater, our pink raincoat, our pink pajamas, and our other pink raincoat. This is now our collection. This collection can then be placed anywhere on the website on a specific page. Uh, it can be put into the menu. You can have a collection primary image. We'll borrow our bunnies again. And we're going to save it. Now, we have not put this, this, this collection into any menu, so we can view it but the world can't find it unless they go looking for that particular title. So we have our collection picture, we have our title, and then we have our pink items. 